Hello and welcome to this first lesson on Unity 3D using C Sharp. Uh, and we're going to start off with some very simple lessons, assuming that you're not a programmer, and learn how to use C Sharp in Unity. And here I have my Unity screen and that I just called up. And the only thing I have in the uh, uh, level in the scene is my main camera, which is sitting here somewhere. What I want to do to set this up for my first program, I want to make sure that I have the console window available. And the way I do that <clears throat> is I come up here to window and I come all the way down here and I click on console. And when I do that, the console will pop up, but I need to drag its tab over here next to the scene. So you drag it up there so you can see it. And I can either have my scene, which is what I'm going to edit, edit in, or I can see my console. And I want to be able to see my console when I'm running my program. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the project panel, <clears throat> and I'm going to right click, and I'm going to come on create, and I want to create C sharp script. And there it is. Uh, so I can use the default name that it gives me, which is new behavior script. And if I do that, I just left click on the panel and up over here comes the first uh, outline that um, uh, Unity is, 3D is doing for me. And let me double left click on this and see what it looks like. Well, as I bring it up, I see I have using Unity Engine, using system.collections, these end with semicolons. I see public class new behavior script. And one of the things I may want to notice here is that new behavior script is exactly the same name as the, the name of the script itself. So if I have this now and later I go back and change the name of this script, this won't work anymore because the names won't match. If I change the name here, I got to come back and change the name here. So for right now, we're not going to do any name changing. Uh, so if I don't like the name New Behavior Script, I want to put my, my own name like My Script or uh, uh, First Person Shooter Script, I need to put it in right at the beginning uh, before I create my program. So this starts off with the name of the script, and then it's got uh, this right here, use this for initialization, and I see void start. And I see parentheses, I see an opening brace and it's closing brace. And then I come here and I see uh, another quotation, update is called once per frame. And I see void update and uh, the parentheses and an opening brace and a closing brace. Now, one of the things that I'm using here is I'm using Notepad++. Uh, you might be using the mono one, uh, whatever editor that you're using. Uh, for doing your script really uh, doesn't make any difference. I prefer the the uh, Notepad++. So if you want to install that on your Unity system, that's fine. You can download Notepad++ for free. To start off with, let's just say for our beginning lesson that we need these here. We'll talk about in future lessons what these are and what these do for us. Right now, just leave them be. Uh, we need them for our C Sharp program. The next thing I see here is this public class new behavior script colon mono behavior behavior opening brace. We'll talk about what public means and we'll talk about what classes are. For right now, just know that you need that. Uh, the opening brace and the closing brace right here, the outer closing brace and the first uh, opening brace. This defines the body of the class. And like I say later, we'll, we'll define what a class is and what have you. Within this class, I have a void start with an opening brace and a closing brace. So anything I put in between this opening brace and this closing brace will take place when the program first starts. This one right here, I have a void update. And the void update, this will update once per frame. And I think the frames happen 
uh, 60 times every second. So it depends on do I want some stuff when the game first starts and or do I want some stuff uh, every time the game changes the frame. To see the differences between these in my first lesson, I'm simply going to type in print. Print is a reserved word in, um, in the Unity 3D uh, C Sharp program that tells it to print something. And I'm going to put inside quotation marks what I want it to print. And I'm going to put this is from start. So I know where this is coming from. And I'll end it with quotations. And I'll end it with parentheses and end it with a semicolon. And basically what I've done here is I've made a statement. And the statement is I've told the, the computer to do something. I want to print. This is from start. I'm going to come down here to update and between the opening brace and the closing brace I'm going to type print inside quotes. This is from update. Now I put a, 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 commit, a, a line in here uh, this is from update, and I put another one. This is from start. So I'm going to come up here to the uh, save icon, save this, click on save. Then I'm going to close this, and there's my program. It shows me my program here. In order to have my program do something, I have to drag it into and attach it to something, to some object that's in the hierarchy. That is, that's already in my scene, in my level. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on this, drag it over here, and now it's in my main camera. If I click on main camera and I look at the inspector panel, I see that there's my game. Uh, I'm sorry, there's my C Sharp new behavior script. I am now going to make sure I have the console selected. I'm going to come up here and run it. And when I run it, I see all this stuff happening and I'm going to stop it. And let's see all the stuff that happened. I'm going to come all the way to the top. And notice that the very first thing it says is this is from start. And then it says this is from update, this is from update, this is from update, and so on and so forth. So I see that the line of code that I had from start happened just one time. And that happened when the program started. So let me see right here. This happened when the program first started. And then it didn't happen anymore. And then this happened every time the program was uh, uh, updated, which I think happens about 60 times a second. Okay, so try this on your own. And this is our first lesson. And we will continue to get deeper and deeper into uh, C Sharp for Unity. And uh, that's it for now. Thank you for watching.